Skokum. Stranded just off the coast of Pembrokeshire lies an enchanting island where very few humans venture. Deserted for most of the year, Skokum springs back to life every spring and summer. And a special visitor has arrived on Skokum, like every year. It is May, and the island has undergone a dreamy transformation. Draping itself in a carpet of wild flowers, the stage is all set for one of the greatest wildlife spectacles. After spending seven months out in the open sea, the puffins are now back on Skokum. Flapping their short but powerful wings up to 400 times a minute, they can reach speeds of up to 55 miles per hour. With counts ranging around 10 and a half thousand, the island is abuzz with bird life. The once deserted landscape is now colonized by these winged wanders and will go on to be the cradle for the future generations. The puffins share the island with a supporting cast of other seabirds. Razorbills and guillemots are back on the island like every year. Inhabiting the hostile cliffs, they have mastered the art of living life on the edge. The graceful fulmars, on the other hand, are busy with their aerial displays. And courtship behavior. And the cove is reverberating with a familiar sound. Basking out in the sun, grey seals have announced their presence. Back in the colony, the activity is at its peak. Adorning a black and white plumage and sporting the flashy beak extensions, the puffins scuffle on land in their trademark comical gait, indulging in their routine antics. Comical they may appear, but in reality, these tiny birds are tough little characters. This is the story of the Clowns of the Sea as their comic and tragic lives unfold on the Dream Island. Introduced long ago on the island, Skokum is also a safe haven for rabbits. Grazing on the vegetation and creating a network of burrows, they facilitate puffins with the ideal accommodation. But when there are thousands of birds, finding a home might not always be an easy task. Puffins are known for their precise social protocols, which help them navigate across the crowded hillsides. And moving across with a lowered head is one of them. But not all birds abide by the rules. Some like breaking them too. Invading into someone's territory is nothing less than a crime in the puffin world, and a price has to be paid. Using their pointy beaks and nails, they can inflict serious damage on their counterparts. The results are evident, and the victor displays dominance by shaking its head as it claims the territory. Most birds go on to nest in the same burrows every year, while some prefer digging out new ones.
Puffins are known for their long-lived monogamous bonds, and they don't shy away from showcasing their affection. A crowd always draws in to share the excitement. Rubbing their flashy beaks, they communicate with their partners and within the colony. After a bit of refurbishing, it is time to find the home decor. With the home decor set, this pair will soon go on to lay a single egg. But newer challenges await. Another bird is on the lookout for prey. The largest gull in the world and the top predators on Skokum. The greater blackback gulls are also busy raising their young and the chicks are always hungry. An aggressive hunter, pirate, and scavenger. These fierce predators will simply prey on anything and everything that they come across on the island. Scanning the puffin colony, this bird is on the lookout for the slightest of opportunities. This time, it has strategically positioned itself behind a burrow. But in vain. Persistent, it goes for one more attempt. Grabbing a puffin is one thing, but holding on to it is quite a task, and the puffin is not going to easily give up. What follows is the struggle for survival. But alas, the puffin is no match for the gull's sheer size. Death for one implies life for the other in this natural world. The gull will be able to feed its chicks, but at the cost of two lives. Most stories, unlike this one, have a happy ending though, and with the onset of June, the feeding frenzy begins. A puffin on land with fish stacked in its bill simply means that a puffling has hatched. What begins now is a really demanding phase in their lives as both parents have to devote a significant amount of time and energy to travel between the breeding colony and the feeding areas. This will ensure they make the most of their one egg investment. The prey rich waters around Skokum are beneficial to a certain extent. But when thousands of rivals compete for the same food source, the challenges are many. And winds blowing at 50 miles per hour certainly make matters more difficult. There are other threats too, and this puffin better hurry. The island is also home to lesser black-backed gulls. Smaller than the greater blackbacks, they have distinctive yellow legs and greyish wings. Opportunistic feeders, they feed on anything and everything that is available. Not even sparing their own kind, 
This bird has positioned itself in the puffin colony. Stalking the birds around, it awaits for the right opportunity. And off it goes, indulging in kleptoparasitism. They steal prey from puffins to suffice their own needs. For a puffin, this is a colossal loss of time and energy but the natural world functions in its own ways. However calm the colonies might appear outwardly, failure is stalking these birds at every turn. The amount of effort that the adults take to raise their young is truly astonishing and most birds go on to raise their young successfully. Pufflings fledge at around six weeks and as July wears off, they take their first peak of their burrows. Soon they will head out to the wide open seas to try their mettle in the harsh winter that lies ahead. As the sun sets across the horizon, the island is swept in a blanket of gold and puffins return back to their burrows. Soon the puffins, young and old, will head out to the sea and Skokum will be deserted, engulfed in stark silence until the arrival of spring next year. <laughs>